Hey guys, welcome back to this next part of the series um, dealing with your uh, black iron pot. It's half inch. I know I said an inch in the last video, but it's a half inch. Um, this is a 48 inch piece that's going to slide down into the conduit of the mounting system for your turbine. Uh, 90 degree elbow, 4 inch uh, nipple, uh, half inch T there and a 12 inch nipple, 12 inch nipple here and a 45 degree half inch elbow and a 30 inch piece on the back here. Now you can, probably can get an idea of what we're doing with the setup here. Uh, this is going to be angled up into the wind to um, keep the blades in the wind a little better so it's a little more uh, upright than level obviously so it's just a tick above level. Um, and then this back piece here, I'm in the process of turning it into place. It's going to be uh, where we mount the furl to keep it out of the wind when the winds get really strong. But this stuff is really hard to work with sometimes because this pipe is so, the threads, once you get it on there, it's on there, so you got to make sure you got it in the right position whenever you're turning it. And that's about right. Now if you have a welder, this is the best that's the best thing to do to tack weld these joints, but I don't have a welder here. I guess you could short circuit some batteries, but I don't recommend that. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm going to use JB Weld to uh, secure these joints and uh, that'll work fine. I did it for my last one and it's fine. So, but anyway, this is kind of how it works. This uh, front part goes up towards the fan for the turbine and this back piece is going to keep it out of the wind. It's going to turn. So, like that. Alrighty. So the next thing is, um, I'll show you some other pieces that I bought here. This is a, uh, I think it's an inch PVC. Yep, it's an inch. And what we're going to do is just uh, cut it off here, enough to slip down on this. And we're going to cut it, and we're going to put this 45 degree elbow on it, and then kick the rest of the pot off in that direction. And then with the other piece of pipe, we're going to put this tail piece on there, which is a fan blade, <laughs> and you'll see how I'll do that later. But, um, for now we have this thing put together as intended. Now, what I'm going to do with the wires coming from the uh, fan is this. I'm going to run the wires down in this hole and this is a piece that actually came from the ceiling fan and that's the reason I say keep everything because this isn't an exact fit into the to the body of that ceiling fan unit so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to weld, put JB weld on this as well and this fits into the body of the ceiling fan and I can put a bolt through that end to secure it because it has bolt holes on the other I just line those up and I'm gonna put JB Weld inside of this unit and then pop a screw in there to tighten it down and then we have a perfect fit but uh, we're gonna run our wires through here I'm gonna drill a hole in this pipe to run the wires out probably close, closer to down here and then we can bring them out here and just zip tie them down and uh, people always ask you know how to keep the wires from twisting up when it's spinning well in most areas the wind comes in from one direction unless there's a thunderstorm or something like that where it changes direction during the storm but uh, for the most part it stays in one di direction uh, at least it has been in my case uh, I haven't seen the wires get twisted up too much so uh, Anyways, that's uh, something, I mean, all these are different, all these units are different, so you may have to handle this aspect of it a little differently, depending on your situation, so. Uh, we'll, we 
get to that when I uh, finish putting the plate, the plate on there and uh, mounting it. So um, that is pretty much all for the galvanized pot that I was going to show you. Just you know, I can't I can't emphasize enough how important it is to um, make sure you have these joints secured so they don't move and twist. But um. All right, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to cut down that PVC, and it's just simple measuring. I'm not going to walk you through that process, and uh, get that on there and show you how it looks. And then after that, I drill a hole here and uh, get our wires run, and then I'll pull them out the end here, and then we'll attach it to the ceiling fan when the time comes, and uh, spray paint it and silicone it waterproof it and uh, it'll be ready to go. So I'll be right back and I'll show you how this fur oil will look. Alright, uh, you can see here I've cut the PVC in half. I mounted it to the 45 degree elbow. I have our uh, ceiling fan blade dis disassembled. I took the uh, metal piece off of it and um, now what I'm getting ready to do is uh, we'll cut a uh, we'll cut a line down through this PVC. We're going to split it basically and drill some holes in it. Slide this in and attach it. Uh, make sure it's secured with the bolts running through it. So. That's the next move. You're just going to take the jigsaw and just come through here and just cut it right in half up to maybe, you know, that much or so. Alright, so I drilled the holes here first and I used a jigsaw. It doesn't do a perfect job with a jigsaw, but um, cut the pipe in half, you can see here. And then I just kind of wedge this down there. And then I'm going to take the drill bit and go back through these holes. So cut through this and uh, run my bolts and the nuts through there. And we'll have that part of it complete. I'll be back when I've done that. You can see the tailpiece there. I put the bolts through it. And on the side of the screw head to tighten it down. And uh, fits in there nicely. It's nice and snug and it's on there pretty good. And uh, this piece just slides down onto the body like that. So this is how, how it should look. And it'll swing around like this, keep it out of the wind. You can't see the uh, top part because it is out of the view. Let's see if I can hang it back up here. Alright, see how it's swinging? That keeps it out of the out of the strong winds, it'll turn it if it gets too fast. But uh, that's really how it works. Uh, that's it. That's all there is to it. And um, now we just need to drill a hole here and uh, bond this these joints, paint it, weatherproof it, and put the head of it on here. It'll be done. But that'll be coming up in the next part. So uh, stay tuned for that. Um, I'm not going to walk you through how to secure these joints. Just put JB Weld on it or, or weld it. Um, pretty self-explanatory there. So I didn't want to go through all the meticulous details. Um, you can probably handle those if you're going to attempt this anyway. So uh, that's it for now, and uh, stay tuned for the next part. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click subscribe to get updates directly in your inbox.